All right, right now we are supposedly live on both. Let us see if everything is working fine. Shalom, everybody. And today we are going to speak about a topic which the Muslims always they think they have a they have a privilege speaking about it. They think they have they are superior as a religion because they claim that they are monotheist. But you know, in reality, we know that the monotheism of Islam means nothing. Uh, you know, I see always things is dependent on the intelligence of a human being. If someone he say he have ten gods and someone say he have one god. Is it because he have ten we don't accept them? No. Is it because he have one we accept him? No. The reason to accept or not to My accept Doctor Zakanai, the Christian Doctor Zakanai. Uh, the reason we accept or reject if the God is true or not. Being three, being ten, being a million, being a billion, we don't tell God what to be, what not to be. Nobody, even the Muslim, don't even dare to question how Allah he sit on the chair. If you ask a Muslim how Allah sit on the chair, they will say, Haram, Haram, we cannot ask. I mean, they don't even dare to speak about how he sit on the chair. So the Muslims are, you know, they are hypocrite in their logic. Same time, today we will prove that Islam does not teach monotheism. And if there is a Muslim who would like to join us, you know, for the free, you know, we will be happy to see you here. Uh, if you wish to do so. Uh, but we can prove easy that Islam and monotheism, they don't match together. Monotheism is the last thing to be exist in Islam. But Muslim they claim that they have it. And this is Zuzu, <clears throat> the one who knows everything. Is the concept of a trinity scientifically proven? <laughs> you know, I like it when the Muhammadan they speak about science. Scientifically? Is it scientifically proven that your God cannot have a son? Like, did you check his vagina and you look at his, uh, so, or maybe he, his penis is not working? Like, if I say scientifically proven that your God, or this man, he cannot have children, that mean scientifically examined by doctors or scientists. So when the Muslim, they come with such a stupid, silly title, scientifically, I mean, those people believe in a flying carpet. Those people believe that Abraham, when supposedly a king tried to burn him, a lizard came with the speed of light on his bicycle, he was doing shopping, and he came all the insect and the animals in the world they came to stop the fire except this filthy lizard and what the Muslim they speak about <clears throat> scientifically look who is talking about science Is it scientifically proven that Mary, she can have a son without a father? Abdul? Is it proven scientifically that Mary is a woman who can prove, you know, can you give us scientific proof? They will say to you, no. But that's the third. Because the brand, he is debunking himself. The Christian themselves didn't believe in Mary. That's the end of everything. But you stupid idiot. We believe it's a miracle. Exactly. Ah, so God is a miracle when you want. God is not a miracle when you want. <clears throat> so 
When you want, you have to use the logic of science. And when you want, you throw it in the trash. Hmm? Here you see the hypocrisy and the stupidity of this cult. But let us hear the Quran Yuka and see what he will say. The second night, the Christians explain the concept of tr Trinity scientifically by giving the example of water, which can be in three states, solid, liquid, and gas, in the form of ice. By the way, we are not proving that scientifically. This is not true. This is false. I teach that always. I think they heard it from me. Uh, we give it as an example of how three can be one, but this is not about God scientifically proving. We give things to prove that the stupid Muhammad I mean, even Islam is based on three. If one is missing, there's no Islam. Muhammad, he receives Quran from Jibreel. If there's no Jibreel, there's no Muhammad, or there's no Allah, there's no Islam. But Islam cannot be exist by Allah alone. The Muslim, when they do abolition, their prayer is not accepted because it's not ready perfectly unless they do ablution which is based on number three they have to, to wipe their hand even their nose they have to sniff water three times they have to say allahu akbar three times they have to wipe their feet three times their face their ears so islam is against trinity but islam is a trinitarian practice because why are you to do it three times allah himself is his names is the multiply of number three 99 names. <clears throat> uh, so when the Muslim he try, you know, to, to refute us, we will see what he will say. It's water and vapor. Similarly, one God is a tri triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Is this explanation scientifically correct? Just to come and refer to the answer. We should not tempt God. We should not test God. But here we aren't testing God. We are testing the human being. We should not test God. But here we are testing you. And God promises that any believer who has deadly poison, he will not die. He will be speaking foreign tongues. We aren't testing God. We know God is correct. He will see to... Uh, look, look. What does this have to do with the question? You need testing God, you know, if you agree, you know. First of all, in the Bible it says, just to show you how they lie too. If anyone eat poison, this is not about eating poison, you idiot. Don't the Christian believe that Jesus himself was crucified and killed? Isn't it the disciple one after one, they were killed too? So is the Christianity teach that if you are Christian, nobody can kill you? That only the foolish answer, the foolish answer of a foolish man like you. The Bible never teach that if you are a Christian, you will not be killed. In fact, it's the opposite. Jesus said, Time will come and people think by killing you, they are doing a favor to God. Killing you, but not trying to kill you. So the Bible confirmed that Christians can be killed and they can die normally like anybody. But let us examine your prophet statement. Your city prophet is the one who said that if you eat seven ajwa, And this is literally, this is Ajwa, this is not metaphorically. Christian cannot be killed by the poison of this world. Some some Christian to try to make it uh, literally, which I believe is silly, because we know that Jesus himself was killed. So if you if they can kill Jesus, and Jesus is the example for us, and he laid down himself, and Jesus told the disciples you will be killed one after one. So why they want to be killed? But this is your prophet receiving information from his God Allah for sure Muhammad is not a doctor as the Muslim they say and you know therefore any information about uh, anything you know is coming from Allah <clears throat> this is Muhammad is speaking about what about if you eat seven ajwa <clears throat> a day your uh, your body will be always safe, protected, immune, against poison, and against something the Muslim believe in, it's called the black magic. 
And here we see the hypocrisy of the Muslims because Muhammad himself, he died by poison. Like, he make a statement about eating ajwa, somebody might say it might work. But Muhammad himself, he confessed that he died by poison. If we go to different hadith, <coughs> we will find this. This is Muhammad, and this is Al-Bukhari. <coughs> no joking. Confirming that Muhammad died by poison. Aisha, she said, and the Prophet in his element which he died, used to say, not once, not twice, every five minutes he say, Oh Aisha, oh Aisha, oh Aisha, the poison I ate, and now it's cut in my order. If Muhammad is sent by God and he say nothing wrong, and <clears throat> he don't speak foolishness or fake words, then we must believe that he was telling the truth. Who of you Muslim dare to say you don't believe Muhammad telling the truth? Did Muhammad tell the truth when he said, if you eat seven ajwa, no poison can kill you? And did Muhammad tell the truth when he said, He's dying from poison. Hmm? And here all of this is to avoid the, the, the question about the Trinity. So he jumped to talk about something else. Let us go to Zuzu. As you see, You know, we are playing videos of like Zach and Naik, he don't flag our videos, but there is other Muslim potatoes, they flag your videos if you if you use them. So I'm avoiding, you know, the one, they are kids, you know. Otherwise, I don't mind to but get them busted all. You that every believer can speak. We are testing you whether you are a believer or not. Coming to the question of the sister, that there are Christians who say that scientifically, we can prove the concept of trinity, like how water can be in three states, solid, liquid and gas, like ice, water and vapor. So similarly, God is in three forms, Father, Son and Holy Ghost. How to reply and is this scientifically correct? Scientifically, I do agree, water can be in three forms, solid, liquid and gas, ice, water and vapor. But scientifically, we also know that the component of water remains the same. H2O, two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. The components remain the same, the constituent remain the same, the forms keep on changing, there is no problem. Let's check with the concept of Trinity. Concept of Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Form, they say form changes. Okay, for sake of argument, you agree. Does the component change? God and Holy Ghost is made of spirit. Human beings are made of flesh and bones. <laughs> you see <clears throat> here you see the stupidity the water is a is not a creator is not the creator is not god so we're talking about god you idiot and if the change is what make god cannot be God, like he missed to say he came to us in a man. Isn't it, this is your stupid God, he come in a form? He changed his form? <clears throat> Let us see. Isn't it this is your God? He come in image other than the one, other than the one they knew. So he just actually, you see, this is why if those people debate me, this guy will be, will, will, people will die laughing at him in two seconds. He just said, the water, okay, this is a change of uh, physics, but uh, God, 
I mean, okay, the three component. So now Jesus is a man. How the change happen? He forgot this is God. God, he can do as he wish. This is why we call our God Almighty. And your God is all potato. Because our God can do things you, your God cannot do. Let me get some <coughs> those candies I bought from Amazon for my voice. Sorry. All right. <laughs> so here they ask Muhammad, can we see Allah in the day of our uh, uh, resurrection? Like, can we see him physically, you know? And Muhammad here, you will notice that Muhammad is speaking about seeing Allah as seeing a physical object. He speak about seeing the moon. He said, do you have a problem? of seeing the moon in the night where it's full? They said, no. He said, okay. He said, uh, do you feel trouble to see in the sun where there is no cloud over it? They said, no. He said, verily you will see Allah the same as you see those, which means the sun and the moon. All right. So now we will see Allah. So the Quran says nobody can see Allah. The Quran says nobody can see Allah. Muhammad says you can see Allah. But that in the day of resurrection. Why we cannot see Allah according to Muhammad? Because you know, uh, he's a glorious, he, they are trying to copy the story from uh, from the Old Testament. <clears throat> so we cannot see Allah because he's glorious, and if you look at Allah, you will be burned. And we know the story of Musa, which mentioned in the Quran. But here we know we have a problem. Do Allah lose his glory in the day of judgment? Are you with me? If the reason we cannot see Allah <clears throat> now, and Allah he told Moses, you, can, you cannot see me, right? Uh, then how we can see Allah in the day of judgment? Muslims, they will say, Allah will make himself uh, able to be seen. But isn't it this is the change you are talking about, but you are refusing? Are you saying to me, Allah will humble himself? He will lower his glory, so his glory will not be the same? Do you understand, guys, uh, what the stupid point Zakir Naik trying to make here? But Zach and Naik, he assumed that every single one of those, <clears throat> including the, the Christian who is sitting at the table in front of him, he do not know Islam. He do not know what the Muslim uh, uh, believe. They do not. He do not know that Allah will come and people will see him physically. And not only that, Allah Himself will even change His form. He will change physically His format. Uh, <clears throat> if we continue reading the hadith in the front of us you will see how Allah he changed his shape but Zach and Naik speaking against that he says but do God change your God does in the case of my God nothing changed because from the beginning God he says God created Adam in his image so Adam is created in the image of God, not the opposite. So now change happened. All what God he did, he humbled himself so we can see him and we will not be burned and destroyed. <clears throat> if you go down, you will see here after Muhammad explained, Read with me carefully here. 
Allah would then come to them in a form other than his own form. This is the Muslim translation, by the way. <clears throat> in Arabic, it says in this hadith, uh, surah, which means creation, image. Remember, when he created Adam, he created him in a surah. So a Muslim, they can say surah is not mean uh, a creation. That's false. Here we go. Or let us say a shape, you know, and for better, better maybe wording. So Muhammad, he copied this from the Old Testament. Allah created Adam in his own image. <clears throat> so what the word image here mean? Mean uh, the physical being. Is, is Adam as a physical or he is an image as a picture? Maybe a TV image, maybe. No, this is a person. The same word used, <clears throat> Allah will come to the Muslims in other image. An image which they do not, uh, they don't know. And this way here says form or image other than his own form, which will not be recognized by them. So Allah now, according to Zakir Nai, God cannot be a person who change. How God, he come as a man, but their God, he changed. So the Muhammadan, because they are hypocrites like their prophet, the black stone worshippers, kissers, they accused you of something which is in their religion. Are you with me? Uh, somebody saying, CP saying that Allah has a physical shape without going in depth. Don't do doesn't do much. What the go in depth? What does that mean? Physical shape is a physical shape. I don't care if it's made from silicone, made it from plastic, made it from beef, made it from concrete. As you see, this is Allah Himself. This is not the shadow of Allah. People they make silly statement. If you don't go in depth, what in depth? Should I put uh, like a, a, a bar of steel inside Allah to check what is inside Allah? <laughs> what do you mean in depth? You know, people, they throw at you very weird statement. And when the Quran says, or Muhammad, he says this, that Allah, he changed his shape. In fact, in different hadith, it says it clearly shape, you know, shape. So the Lord will come to them in a shape other than the one they knew. We can search for it. Oh, we are typing, I thought I'm typing in English. Let us see if we can find it. Uh, what happened to this website? We click enter, nothing working. Come on. What? I know what happened to this website. Okay. Ah, the site, the seed cannot be reached. All right, the site is down. 
<laughs> Alright, let's see. I don't know what to do, you know. <clears throat> let's give it a try. Let me open a different browser and give me a second. Yeah, it looks like the website is down. Huh. Okay, we can try to use the other website, which is, let us see here. All right, this one is working. Let's try again, maybe the website, because I like that website more, for the text can be more clear. <clears throat> maybe it's working now, let's see. Okay. Let's see. See here, they're translating the word uh, as image. But let us see different hadith. Just to show you the word shape. Where is the hadith? <clears throat> okay, let's type shape other in English. See the hadith in front of me in Arabic, it says clearly the word shape, but uh, the Muslims, they have many translations and some of them, I believe, they are done in this way in, uh, in purpose. <clears throat> Let us see the different one, hold on. <clears throat> I don't like to mention something without showing the reference. So just have patient. Let us see this one. If not, we will use the Arabic, which I have in front of me, and use Google. But we prefer first. To show it to you. 
Peter, it says, from the same one, here, See here in Arabic it says, Allah will come to them in the image other than the one which they knew. Which they knew. Let us see here this one. Ah, here we go. We found it. <clears throat> Do you see the word shape? Let me post the link for all of you. A ramble on YouTube and on Discord. Please shave it, shave it, save it for the next, for the next time. So next time we would, uh, instead of looking for it, you guys, you can help me and post, post it right away. So this is where it says the shape. <clears throat> All right. And let me, uh, And this is the link. So here you see how the Muslim they debunk themselves. If you cannot accept God for He changed His shape, well, you don't accept Allah. And as you see, this is a hadith mutawatir, which we repeat many times, very authentic. And the Muslims cannot say, we don't accept this hadith. And look now, we have other problem. Allah not only he changed his shape he changed it and the Muslim they will call him shaitan when Allah come to them first time if you read it with me here Allah will come to them in a shape other than they knew or they know and will say I am your God they will say get lost potato what an idiot you're a liar you're a scumbag you're a fraud ha 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 you can you think you can fool us it's in front of you so the Muslim themselves, they will make fun of Allah just because he changed his shape. Those Muhammadan, they are farting at their God just because he changed. This is the same Allah. This is not a new Allah, different Allah. This is the same Allah. The guy, he just changed his shape. They start talking to him like a bunch of Mickey Mouse. You are not Allah. And here, by the way, you see the stupid uh, structure of the story. So Muhammad trained the Muslim that in the day of judgment, Allah will change his shape and will come to you. And the Muslims still reject him. I mean, you stupid eager. Jesus told you Allah will come to you in different shape. And the first question you ask yourself, I mean, why Allah is doing that? I mean, what's the point of this story? Is that like a hide and seek game? So the same reason the Muslim they are claiming that they are debunking the Trinity by what God is not a changeable with God is not a changeable by uh, you know by ethic by uh, uh, power but not by uh, God he can come as you wish that's why we call him God God is Almighty you know what Almighty mean Almighty mean have all the might whatever might you can imagine power. So in one hand, the Muslims, when they debunk the Trinity, they debunk their God, that he have no might. As an example, the stupid Muhammad in the Quran, he decided to refute the Christians. How he refuted them? He says, how Allah can have a son, he don't have a girlfriend. And this is another problem, by the way, in Islam. If the Quran, 
given to Muhammad by God. How come the Quran do not know the Trinity? The Quran and the Trinity is Mary and Jesus and Allah. First, we don't believe in Allah. Secondly, we don't believe that Mary is part of the Trinity. Mary is a wonderful woman chosen by God. And she is not in any way, in any mean, part of the Trinity. The stupid Muhammad, he have his own Trinity. You know, if this God is God, shouldn't he knew what even the Christians believe in? Shouldn't he knew that the Christian don't believe that Mary is God? And this is for all the major churches, Protestant, Catholic, <clears throat> and Orthodox. How come Allah is God? He do not know a simple thing. Any Muslim in YouTube, he knew the Christian believed that Father, Son, Holy Spirit. I see Muhammad <clears throat> is nothing but a stupid man. And I see nothing but the Quran is made by a fool. To the point, the, the, the Quran asking Jesus, he Jesus, did you say to people who accept me and my mother? Huh? And here you question the knowledge of Allah. The Muslim, they say to you, when God, he came to the uh, Garden of uh, Eden, he said to Adam, Adam, where are you? The Muslim, they say, oh, you kill God, do not even know it is Adam. <laughs> Will your God keep questioning people about things, you know? And look what Jesus said to him in the Quran, in chapter 5, verse number 116. I mean, this is hilarious. The Muslim, they add words, by the way, is not in the Quran, because the Quran is not a, it's not a book you can read without being confused. So the Muslim, they have to add a bracket. I mean, the half of the Quran is brackets. If we take the brackets, the Quran is gone. And when Allah, he says to Isa, do you did you say to uh, to men uh, worship me and my mother as two gods beside Allah? So now the stupid Allah, Akam Muhammad, he make it so clear that the Christian believe in the Trinity, which is Mary and Jesus. So Mary, she marry Allah, and they have a baby. His name is Jesus. What a cute family! <laughs> and then Jesus, he gave a screwdriver to Allah. Look what he said to him. He said, the glory to you, you idiot. It wasn't for me to say what I had not no right. Had I said such a thing, you surely should know what you idiot. Do you see it? So he's saying to him, are you stupid or what? Shouldn't you are supposed to your God and you know everything? If I say it, you know it. Why are you asking me? And then the Muslim in translation, look what they say. They say, you know what is in my inner self, though, though I do not know what is in your and yours truly. Hey Muslims, what is that inner self? What the heck is that? Allah have inner self? In Arabic it says nafsi. Nafsi soul. Nafsi mean my soul. You change the translator. Who is this, this uh, potato? Hidali Khan. We change the translator. Let us see the different potato. Uh, Arbari. Remember always you have to change the translators a thousand times before you can find a translator maybe close to the truth. But if you don't know Arabic, all of them for you is the same. Then here it says, you knowest, uh, though you knowest, knowest it, knowing that it is in my soul, but I do not know within the soul. A hey, Muslim, dear God, Allah have a soul. What is this? Don't tell me that Allah now he used the wrong word in Arabic.
Allah cannot have a son without having a girlfriend. Well, the God of the Christian, he can have a son without a girlfriend. That means your God, Allah, is a man. My God is not. My God, he can come as a man, but my God is not a man like us. My God, he does not need a boat to walk in water. He can walk in water. My God, he do not need medicine to make you see. Or a surgery. Jesus can make you see. My God do not need black magic to make you come from the ground when you are dead for three days. My God, he can. Your God cannot. In fact, if we measure what Jesus can do and what Allah cannot do, we will find everything. Allah can do nothing. Allah do not know the judgment day in, in, in Christianity. Jesus made it clear, only my father. Why? Because the father is the one who has the authority for the day of judgment. But in Islam, Allah do not know the day of judgment. Why? Do Allah is part of the Trinity and he have a father and his father is the one who has the authority for the day of, of judgment? When the Arab, they challenge Allah. <clears throat> and they ask him, how come you don't have miracles? <laughs> I mean, guys, look at this. You see all of this? This is the most funny drama ever. Imagine, <clears throat> I claim to be sent by God. And then you say to me, okay, how come your God did not give you any miracle? Huh? How come? The stupid Muhammad, he told him that, my God, Allah told me, wait, and Allah is waiting for the miracle to happen too. <laughs> Read with me. This is a religion from God? Wait, and I'm waiting with you? Did Jesus say to them, when they say to him, make, make uh, you know, Mary, she said to him, those people are out of uh, wine, you know, do something. I mean, why Mary, she's asking Jesus, you know, Jesus did not say, wait, the miracle will happen one day. No. Even Jesus said to her, it's not my time yet. I'm not here for this. But because he loved Mary, he did what she asked for. He commanded them to bring water, and he commanded the water to become wine. That is Jesus. Your God, they keep asking him for a miracle. He says, wait, and I'm waiting with you. Wait, and what? And I'm waiting with you? How many times we have to wait? In the same verses. And the people keep asking, how come? His God never sent anything, like not even a single thing. Wait, and I'm waiting with you. What is this? And by the way, they are adding the word watching. No, there's no watching here. That's a false translation. Who is the idiot who translates this? Watching? Watching what? It's a movie? Arbari. <clears throat> Let us soak it to, uh, to Khattab. Khattab, the clear Quran. The clear Quran. The Muslim, they like Khattab. <laughs> they ask, why has no other sign has been sent down to him? Other, what other? There's no other. It says, how come not even a single sign? 
from his Lord. Say, uh, Muhammad, uh, the knowledge of the unseen with Allah alone, so wait. The two I'm waiting with you. <laughs> Imagine you say to Jesus, hey, Jesus, you claim to who you claim to be. How come you cannot do any miracle? But wait, I'm waiting. Let us wait together. Zach and Mike, do you have anything to say? Good time, friends. First of all, Allah is waiting because it's waiting for in America to happen. It's very normal and very logical. Like what? This is God. So Muhammad, how, okay, hold on. How the Muslim they say that the Quran itself is a miracle? And yet he says, wait, and I'm waiting with you. I mean, if the Quran is a miracle, he just made a miracle. Why do you say the, miracle? the Quran is a miracle? Don't you see? Are you stupid? What? Those statements proving that the Quran is just a dumb book. Or your God, Allah, he forgot that by making this verse, he just made a miracle, supposedly. Because you Muslim claim that the Quran is a miracle. So why is saying wait and waiting? Wait, waiting for what? Just do it. And the people, they keep waiting for the miracle. <clears throat> and the miracle never happened. Even the one they speak about, which is the split of the, of the moon, is a joke. It's an eclipse. The foolish Muhammad, when he see eclipse, go and check in the, just type the word eclipse in the hadith uh, website. Muhammad, he go not when there is an eclipse. And here it says, by the way, look what it says. The judgment day is drawn near and the moon is split. This is a sign of day of judgment. Allah, he lied. If this is a sign of a day of judgment, what happened? The day of judgment changed. I mean, what do you want more than the moon split, not a crack? Split became two pieces. In the hadith, even it says that the mount of Hara appeared from between the two cracks or two, two split. Which means that the moon became two pieces and they are millions of miles away from each other. Remember, we are talking about something in the sky. So when we see a mountain showing in the world, so such a thing. I mean, imagine if the moon is split two pieces. This is not about Islam now. This is the whole world will see it. Even those who have a daytime will see it. Not only will see it, that will impact the oceans. Will, will make cause disaster, tsunami, I mean, crazy stuff will happen. In the top of that, one piece or maybe two of them, they will be grabbed by the earth because now the gravity of the, of the moon changed and became half as size, became two pieces. Mm. So usually when this happened, when this happened, as the gravity theory says, that the big object would have grabbed the small object. And then the moon have to hit the earth. Same time, why the moon is together? Like the verse says, Allah, he split the moon. Did Allah put the moon together? Do the verse says, Allah, he put the moon together? No. Does it even say Allah, he did it? No. It doesn't say who did this. The moon is split, sign of day of judgment. <laughs> Same time, by the way, this is a chapter 54 in the Quran. But there is way more verses in the as you know the Quran by the way is not written in order as Muhammad received and this is the problem the Muslim they claim that the one who changed location of the words of, 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 of God he is doing corruption and the Muslim agree that all the Quran is messed up this is not what this is uh, you can go right now and search for Quran according to Revelation you will see the order so the one became uh, was, uh, was fifty uh, is fifty four is number ten. The one is ten is number eleven. The one is eleven is number twenty, etc. So the Quran is messed up. 
The first chapter Muhammad he reads, or he, he, he receives supposedly is the one that says read. And the angel, he squeezes him if you remember. But this is in the Quran now, chapter 96. Chapter what? 96. So from chapter number one to become chapter 96. Then, if we type again the word in Tadiru, which means wait. We will find all those verses which happen long after the chapter of the moon, saying, they asking him about how come you have no sign, and they say, wait, and I'm waiting with you. Wait. Wait, and I'm waiting with you. If we type here, what of a sign, a, a miracle from his God? You will see it says always, Muhammad have no sign. They keep asking him, why does not, why has not a sign sent down upon him from his Lord? And this is all over the Quran, as you see. And this chapter, by the way, number 10, is at the end of the Quran, long after the chapter of the moon, based on the revelation order. They keep asking him, how come you don't have a sign? And Muhammad don't have a sign. Why? What is the problem exactly? Because simply, he's a fake prophet. Why they are unbelievers? Because this guy, he has zero signs. And actually, there's a verse in the Quran. Where Allah, he confirmed that he told the Jews not to accept any prophet unless he give a sacrifice and then Allah, he sent the fire from, the, from heaven to consume it. Even this one Muhammad could not do. But Allah made condition. Allah said to the Jews, according to the Muslims, now we know that the Jews don't believe in Allah. Unless there's a Jew who's an idiot, he thinks it's the same God. But there's many of them, same as the Christians. In chapter of Ali Imran, they said, these uh, you know, people said, Allah has made a covenant. By the way, it doesn't say God. You know, It says Allah. This guy, I didn't know why he replaced the word Allah with God. As you know, in Islam, Allah is a name. It's not, uh, it's not a word meaning God. That's false. Alladheena. Shut up. Alladheena. All right. Read and love. Those Jews, they say, Verily Allah has taken our promise not to believe in a messenger unless he bring us a farin which a fire, the fire from heaven will come down and will eat it. Yum, 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 yum. <clears throat> okay. Did Allah in the Quran say this is a lie? I did not do that today? No, he confirmed it. He confirmed it. Allah, he says, okay, well, Verily come to you, messenger before me, with a clear sign, even with that you speak of. Why then you did you kill them? Hey Muslims, who is the prophet? Okay, hold on. Look at the excuse. Allah told them, don't accept any messenger unless he gives sacrifice. And then I, to show you that I'm the one who sent this man, 
I will send a fire in front of your eyes and will take that sacrifice. The same as what happened with Abraham. <clears throat> so now the Quran confirmed that Allah, he made a condition on the Jews not to accept anyone unless he do that. So why are you upset? Because they refuse Muhammad. This is the proof Muhammad could not do it. Muhammad do not need to do anything. Just to bring a sheep, slaughter the sheep, leave it on the ground. Fire will come from the sky. The Jews, they cannot, they will be amazed. Why you don't do it? Especially if Allah, he made the condition on them. And then the Quran says, why you kill them? Hey Muslim, can you name for me the, the prophets, the Jews they killed from the Quran? Who is a Muslim can show me a single Jewish prophet, the Jews they killed from the Quran? Can't you tell that the Quran is a stupid book? Because if I say something, that means I believe in it. Isn't it you Muslim you say Allah will not allow the Jew to kill his messengers? And that's why he saved Jesus? Someone saying to me, Sheikh Faisal, Christian Prince, you think this religion is a joke? Who has given Islam the power to exist since then? Can you name the, the structure, house of Khalifa maybe? Uh, Western royals and olders, Islam is too strong. My friend, potato is strong. As you see, your God Allah could not save Muhammad. A poison from Walmart killed your strong prophet. A woman, she bought a poison for 50 cents from Walmart for a rat. And she killed your prophet like a rat. And Islam is a strong where? Even in the time of your prophet, his wife, they tried to kill him. The caliphate, they killed each other. Aisha, she took an army of 10,000 to kill Ali and his family. The caliphate, they took an army to kill Ali and his family, and they did. Omar, he knocked the door of the house of Fatima, and he burned the house, and he made her lose her baby. I mean, do you see how strong Islam is? Imagine, guys, if we say to you, Peter, he attacked the house of Paul, and he burned the house. <laughs> do you see how strong Islam is? You're a prophet, he died, and the goat ate his Quran. I mean, he, he just died. And now don't tell me the Israeli, the Jews are the one who sent the goat. There's no goat there. I mean, there's no Jews there. Muhammad, he killed them all. Islam is strong. You don't even have a Quran. You don't even have Al-Bukhari. I challenge any Muslim to show me where this book Al-Bukhari can be found. You see, we see in the screen here, it says Al-Bukhari. But there's no Bukhari. There's no Sahih Muslim. All those books are not exist. They say this is from, 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 from the student of Al-Bukhari. So they have no Quran. They have many versions of the Quran. And none of them exist. None of those versions of the Quran is exist, which means there's no manuscript for it. Same for the Hadith. The strong Islam is based on what? The flying carpet. Suleiman is speaking to the ant. The wives of Suleiman, they notice their husband is not their husband because Shaitan, he cloned the look of Suleiman. But they noticed that his penis is so big and it's so powerful. I mean, this is religion. The wives of Suleiman, they noticed that this is not Suleiman because he do boom, boom. Not like the stupid husband. He's so good. Is that your religion? Suleiman, he died standing because he was holding a stick and nobody noticed that he is dead for a year. Because his time is strong, huh? And then the termite, they ate the stick of Suleiman. Look how strong the, 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 the strong plan of Allah. The, the termite destroy how is a plan. Your God is a potato, my friend. And we are here to laugh at him. Until now, we have no Muslim who dare to come to us 
liars. They claim that they have monotheism. In fact, your prophet, he been schooled by a Jew about monotheism. Your prophet been accused by a Jew that he is a, a polytheist. A Jewish man, he came to Muhammad and he said to him, you are a kafir. You are not monotheist. Why? Because you say this and you say that. Then Muhammad says to him, I'm just trying to find the hadith. Uh, did your prophet say to him, you stupid, what are you talking about? We are more atheists more than you. No. He agree. All this teaching, you see, is coming from the Jews. You see, you see, look, look. All of this is coming from the Jews. The idea, it's Allah will, and if you don't say it, it you are a mushrik, you are a, a polytheist, is coming from a Jew. Let me get you the exact hadith. A Jewish man <laughs> is schooling Muhammad about monotheism. Look at this madness. In fact, this hadith alone is enough to prove that Muhammad is a scam. I will explain to you why. And as you see, this is Sahih. This is Sahih. This is not a fabricated story. It says here, chapter is swearing by the Kaaba. It was narrated from Abdullah ibn Yasser, from, 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 that a Jew who a Jew, Jack Shalom. Jack Shalom is teaching Muhammad, Benjamin Netanyahu is teaching Muhammad and teaching Hamas monotheism. Did Allah swear by the stars? Yeah, he swear by the fig. Allah swear by stars, by fig, by olive, by all kind, kind of crazy stuff. He is sitting, he said, you are sitting rivals to Allah. And associating other with him. Look, look at the serious accusation. You say whatever Allah wills, and you will. And you say by the Kaaba. Look what the Prophet, look what the potato Muhammad did. He took the command of the Jew and he fixed his religion. He told them from now on, if you swear, take an oath, you say by the Lord of the Kaaba. And whenever Allah wills and you that what you will. He did not argue with the Jew. He did not say you're an idiot. This is, you're wrong. He agreed with him. Not only agree with him, he commanded him to do as the Jew said. Who is the prophet then? Who is the prophet? If Muhammad is a prophet of Allah, shouldn't Allah tell him this? Not the Jew? A Jewish man, God knows who he is, just walking by, schooling Muhammad about monotheism, 
And Muhammad now he take his religion of monotheism. He was a mushrik. Remember, it says you associate, you are a mushrik in Arabic. In fact, it says tushrikun. Read it, tushrikun. You are a mushrik, Muhammad. The Jewish man said to Muhammad. You are a potato, Muhammad. You are a fraud, Muhammad. You are not monotheist. You are just a scam. There's no way a prophet of God do not know how to speak of monotheism, especially if he's sent by God. God will teach him, inspire him, will, will not say a wrong statement. A Jewish walking by, giving a screwdriver to Muhammad, saying to him, you are an idiot. What are you doing? You are a mushrik. And then Muhammad, he agreed. So, they don't know who is their God. They are confused about the monotheism. They are Muhammad trying to copy other religion, to come with a religion. But as you see, he don't have a religion. This is why he take what the Jews says for granted. The Jew, he gave him a screwdriver. Muhammad, he put it in his bum and he walked with it. Look at this hadith. All of this is sahih. And then since then, Muhammad, he start changing. Everything the Jew, he said to him, now Muhammad, he put it into practice, as the example, this one. <laughs> don't say, MashaAllah, inshaAllah, don't say, etc. Say this. So a Jewish walking by, he reshaped Islam. What is this? So when the Muhammadan they speak about monotheism and they attack the Trinity, first they don't even understand the Trinity. Their God, he think Trinity is Mary and Jesus and uh, God, he Mary, Mary, and they have a baby and they went to honeymoon in Hawaii. This is because the God of Islam is an idiot. Their God himself, he changed his shape, he changed his form, which means Allah is a changeable and Allah, he come inside his creation. The Muslim, how many times we heard, but the Tatar, God cannot enter the creation. And then we find that Allah, he entered the earth. And Allah was in the earth, actually. If you read the Quran from the beginning, where it says Allah, after he finished creating the earth, he went up to heaven. So what he was, wasn't the earth. And he went up where? To the heaven. Okay, went up through what? The heaven. I mean, the stupid is amazing. So they deny that the Allah cannot Allah cannot enter as a creation. When the whole Quran is saying he can. And then the hadith confirm it. And then we get them busted and then they agree. The same as the scientific miracle of the Quran, the biggest fraud ever in history. For 20 years we are proving to them that this is a big fraud. And now they agree, they admit it's a big fraud. Like Lady Dawa, peace be upon her, she said, Brother Sister. I said it, yes, I said it. The scientific miracle of the Quran is debunked. It's not a mistake, no. Let me repeat again. Go watch it, just type Lili Dawa. I mean, those guys, they go around and they speak scientific and they made books and etc. with colors and space, a spaceship and uh, aliens, and, you know. And it turned to be all of it is a potato. Because the whole idea is how to fool the dummy you, if you are dummy, uneducated, to make you convert to such a garbage, trashy religion. Teach you beat the wife and have sex with the children and drink camel urine and cut your penis. Actually, this is one of the reasons I don't want to convert to Islam. After I saw what Abraham he did, I said to him, I said to myself, I mean, obviously, Abraham, he used to have a very, 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 very big one, you know? Abraham, he how he cut his penis? I mean, what, this guy, he have six foot? What the heck?
So like what, you know, his wife, she helped him to put it in the table. And because there is no Caesar can, Caesar can go through, it's so thick, maybe like, maybe 20 inch, 50, I'm not sure. I mean, just the width of it. So the scissor will not go through. So he said, you know, we cannot do that. You know, we have to use a heavy duty machine. So he put it in the table by the help of his wives and the neighbors. And then he said, honey, grab the ads. Okay, honey, uh, where, where to hit, honey? Hit anywhere, you know, so what if we lose two feet, three feet? Just get, you know, we have to do circumcision. Where Muhammad got those stories from? By, by the way, until now, Muhammad is not, not circumcised. Do you know that Muhammad never circumcised? If uh, you know, they say to you because he was old. Here we go. It says here that Abraham was eight years old. <laughs> so I say to you, Islam is nothing but a collection of stupid stories. And as you see, zero Muslim dare to join us to prove us wrong. I hope today we have a good time. I will try to come later at night if I could. And may the Lord bless you all. As you see, Islam is just made by a fool for a bunch of fools. And you know, this God who want to give me, you know, the dancing virgins, you know, in heaven. And the brother, I cannot wait, the brother. So this God, he's trying to tempt my penis to make my brain stop working. Only the penis works. So now I think in the penis, I don't think of, 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 of God. What, what is this for? The Billy Dancer brother and all those women, they look the same. All of them. Are you sure? All of them, they have the same name, the same eyes, the same hair, the same height, the same age, the same face. Imagine you go to a place, you enter a Starbucks. <clears throat> All women in Starbucks, they look the same. The one behind the counter, she looked the same. The one she served with the coffee, looked the same. The one sitting in front of you, looked the same. They have one name. They sing one song. They move one move. So did you promise me really a lot of women or one woman still? I mean, of all of them look the same. They speak the same. They have the same voice. If this is a religion, what is garbage? Huh? And not to forget to mention, I mean, how serious Islam is. The lizard, you go and he want to burn Abraham. I mean, we have to take it seriously. All the insects and the animals in the world, they come to stop the fire of Abraham, except the lizard, son of Muta. Amar, Rabbi Amar. He come in the speed of bicycle to stop the crime against Abraham. And they speak about science and logic. When they, uh, This is a religion of flying carpet, so a man go to the bathroom, he left his ring out, Shaitan, he cloned him, he have sex with his wives, he controlled the kingdom. Suleiman kicked out of his palace, he went and he worked in the street, he became homeless. Suleiman, he found a guy buying fish, he carried his fish, he told him, if you give me two fish, I will be f very appreciating the f fishing you. So uh, he carried the fish, he went home, he, the guy, he gave him two fish, he went home to the kitchen, he opened the fish, he found his ring, he became a king again. And the Muslims, they speak about logic. I mean, who rebooter is better than yours? The sun set in murky water. The, I mean, oh. I don't want to go there. I mean, Chris and Prince, if you look at the ocean, you will see that the sun appeared and it said in the murky water. Abdul, potato. First of all, the Quran did not say ocean. It says it's spring. Spring. There's no ocean. They try to fix it. They make it more blind. It says a spring of water. And it doesn't say appear to him. It says he found it. And the one who is saying that is Allah. 
And then the hadith confirm it. Muhammad he says to Abu Dhar, the father of the ants, do you know where this goes? He said, Allah and his messengers knows best. And by the way, here, the Muslims are mushrikeen again. They associate the knowledge of God with the knowledge of a man. His name is Muhammad. Muhammad, he explained very well, better than all the videos in YouTube. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, Do you know where they sit? Look, look, Muhammad, you know, he's showing off his knowledge. The guy behind him, he had no idea. Poor guy. Muhammad is the prophet. He knows what he's talking about. He worked in Tesla for 10 years and for 12 years in uh, uh, SpaceX, Elon Musk, ask him, ask him. He was the guideline for any missiles. Actually, Prophet Muhammad is the one who created ZBS. So I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best. Here you see the monotheist collapse. This is why Rashad Khalifa, he left Islam and he created his own religion. Why? Because of this, he said, those are kuffar. They associate a man, his name is Muhammad with God. Allah and his not uh, Allah and his message knows best. Equally. <clears throat> and then he said, Look at the knowledge. Look at the beautiful knowledge of a prophet of Allah. Who can beat that? Let's be serious here. He said, It's set in a spring of water, brother. Brother Thither. First of all, Prophet Muhammad, he was saying that at that time because he was ignorant and he is stupid. However, Allah did not stupid. A prophet is stupid. <laughs> but Allah says that the same in the Quran. <laughs> what a bunch of potatoes. Lord have mercy. I want to say thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again. God is good. So is Jesus. And Muhammad is nothing but a fraud. This is your brother Christian Prince who is serving you humbly for today. I will try to come later at night if I could. If not, maybe tomorrow. God bless you.